Safety procedures at Indian Point are under fire tonight. A major environmental group is asking for a shutdown of the nuclear power plant over cooling concerns. CBS 2's Lou Young with the story tonight from Buchanan in Westchester County. In an action they've never attempted before, the International Environmental Group, Friends of the Earth, is asking the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to put Indian Point on ice until someone can specify why its cooling system bolts are wearing out faster than expected. Plant operators temporarily shut down Unit 2 recently and found 277 of 800 bolts damaged or missing, far more than expected in such a critical system. It's not good enough to simply think that you can go in and replace bolts without having figured out what the core problem here is. The petition is asking the NRC to keep Unit 2 shut down and additionally shut down the other unit as well to see if that reactor also has problems. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission has to respond within a, quote, reasonable time under the regulation, but as you might have seen, the petition says you should treat this as an emergency petition. you got to act now before they restart. Carl Copeland is a professor specializing in environmental law at Pace University. He says the petition's strongest argument is over missing metal parts somewhere inside the reactor. You got a little piece of metal floating around in there, and it gets in a pump, gets in the way of a control rod, and now you've got a very serious situation. The plant's owner says the bolt problem is not a major concern. Bolts degrade over time due to radiation, heat, pressure, and we're going to replace the bolts that are degraded to put that unit back in service. And how much is missing? How much material is missing? There are two bolt heads out of about uh, 800 bolts that are missing. But critics say that could be enough to take the plant offline. A former president of the New York Power Authority, now working with the environmentalists, says we could live without the nukes if we had to. There's no risk of any uh, power shortage. The New York ISO has got plenty of surplus. A spokesman for the NRC says the petitioners will likely have an answer in a matter of weeks. We're in Buchanan, Westchester County, Lou Young, CBS2 News.